Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again, and we got a new trailer for Tower Fantasy, a game that isn't new, but will be new to PlayStation, and I'm actually really excited about this because with the news that we're not getting Honkai Star Rail on PlayStation until the end of the year, which was a bit disappointing, I do believe that Tower of Fantasy has a chance, if it comes out sooner than that, to slide in where... Honkai Star Rail would have been and really capture an audience before that other game comes out. Whereas if I think this if this game had come out on PlayStation after Honkai Star Rail, it might have been lost in the shuffle, especially with the popularity we've already seen of Genshin Impact on PlayStation and how prevalent that is. So let's jump into the video, see what it's all about, and I'm gonna give my thoughts. It looks gorgeous right away. That's the first thing I notice. I love these new games with these anime style designs. They're just very fascinating to me. It, uh, very much like Genshin Impact here. The characters look sick already. I love the character designs. That was fire. Like, oh. Really focusing on the characters, too, I think is smart with trailers like this. Oh, we got a brawler. Okay. Like, this is fire. And it's open world, so unlike Honkai, it's going to be more exploration, I think, which is nice. I'm pretty sure you can do all of this co-op as well, which you can't do in either of the Hoyoverse games, so. I'm excited. I want to get hands-on with this game for sure. She looks fire. Also, that thing. Well, Hydra Phoenix. I don't know what that is, but it's awesome. Pre-order from June 20th. Okay, so the funny thing is it is a free-to-play game. And I'd imagine that the pre-order is going to mostly include bonuses, whereas it, the game ultimately will be free. But you'll get, like, we've seen it in the past with games where you pre-order, you get, like, either bonus um, items, like, for wishes or pulls or whatever the case may be. Or you might get bonus equipment, like weapons, or I don't know how the game works exactly with Tower of Fantasy. But, again, if it's similar to... Uh, Genshin or Honkai, those materials you'll get, the wishes so you can pull new characters, all that stuff might be available. But overall, I really like this. I like the look of it. I think the, the potential there is going to be pretty high for a game to come out like this because I think when Honkai Star Rail was announced and then released on PC, everyone expected it to come out on PlayStation by 1.1 or maybe 1.2, but it looks like since it's delayed so long into the, the end of the year, a lot of people are going to be itching for a game like this because Genshin has really slowed down with the updates. We're not getting the new region in Genshin anytime soon. Uh, we still have a couple patches for that as well. So if this were to come out, say, in a month or two on PlayStation, that would be a major deal. And because it's available for pre-order from June, hopefully we get more information on June 20th as to when this is officially dropping. Because like I said, if it drops August, September timeframe, it could really dominate this particular space on the PlayStation. And I think it's a space that right now is wide open. Whereas if another game or two drops, there is going to be a lot of competition. Once Honkai drops, once the new region of Genshin drops, Maybe another game comes out that we're not expecting that, that kind of once we get like Blue Protocol, that won't be until next year. But that game is going to be different, but kind of fill a similar niche. Uh, and so I'm really excited to see how this all plays out, which games really rise up and are successful. I'm hopeful that there's a lot of variety. So that way uh, it felt like for a long time with Genshin Impact, it was the only one that was really available to PlayStation users. So now I can play what I want, and if I'm not feeling a game at any particular time, if there's a couple filler patches that I can skip those or play those intermittently, just not as much as I might have otherwise, and focus on a different game and level up and all that kind of good stuff. So I, I do, I'm a big fan of the variety right now. I'm glad we're going to have multiple options going forward. I'm looking forward to seeing when this is actually going to drop, and I can't wait to try it out for myself. I, I do 
play a bit. Like, I'm playing Honkai Star Rail on PC. I was actually thinking about starting Tower of Fantasy on PC as well. But because I heard it was coming to PlayStation, I'm just going to hold off and check it out there at that launch because I feel like there will be a, a big opportunity to jump in for a lot of players and really get that fresh experience on that platform. So anyway, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. My name is Joe Play. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously. Shows you want to see Tower of Fantasy content from me going forward. I will definitely cover the game as it approaches launch on PlayStation, and I will continue covering Honkai, Genshin, all those games as well. I hope you have a good one. I'll catch you all later.